uh, the biggest burden, uh, and it continues to be that way as we as we're still trying to figure out what this 2021 pandemic pre or post pandemic school looks like because of the variances and things of that nature. So what's interesting is during the pandemic, everyone still expected concrete communication in the midst of chaotic hyper change, and so they wanted stability demanded stability, wanted answers, still understanding that change was happening, but wanted concrete answers in the midst of change. Mm -hmm. Those two things were hard to coexist. So that, that created a lot of stress on the educational system, created a lot of stress on uh, educational leaders, and it created a lot of stress at the, at the point of instruction with, with teachers. For example, you know, we at Eastland Fairfield, we changed our schedule five different times. And each time a group was upset about that change because they had gotten used to the, the, the system, that, the change that we put in place. Routine is important for, uh, you, you talked about a VUCA world, you know, volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous. Well, one of the answers to that is, is understanding, but also certainty. People want and need certainty. That's just a, a human desire, a human need. It's hard to have that certainty in the midst of very complex, uh, ecosystem, as, as Tony pointed out. And, and I saw, I, I would say the, one of the things that I would like to see happen and continue to see happen is that we let go as adults. We let go of nostalgia. Now, you, you joked about to change the system, we have to change the, the system. The one thing that is preventing rapid change and sustainable change from happening in the educational systems is the adults' nostalgic love for what school was like when we were in school. Keep, in, keep this in, in mind. Most of the people who are now advising how schools should run are no longer, have never stepped foot in the school since they graduated. Mm -hmm. Talking about parents and in, in, in neighborhoods and whatnot. And most people who, and this is just by numbers, most people who drive by a school don't know what's going on in, in that school because they don't step foot in there. And so their knowledge, their understanding, their desires based on what school was like when they experienced it. You know, Joe talks about this quite a bit. You know, we have a lot of people who have a 13-year internship who now know by experience what school should look like. And, and, I, and there's nothing further from the truth because the times are so different than they were, I would say, even 20 years ago, let alone 30 or 35 or 40 years ago. So I'll say, you know, we will have to, we will have to let go of nostalgia and understand that in every industry, in every societal uh, area that we are vested in has significantly changed over the course of time through the technology, due to, um, uh, again, the rate of change, due to understanding, due, due to being adaptable and flexible and demanding it, except for having that same grace, understanding and desire for a school system to change, to look fundamentally different than what it used to.